Jared came to me about a year ago and said, hey, Grant, you talk about millennials in a way nobody else does. You don't lecture them. You don't make them wrong. You talk their language. You're giving them information they need. You're giving them information their daddy and their grandpa don't give them. By the way, I love the last, the last show. I don't know if y'all watched our last Cardone Zone show, but I can hear y'all in the background laughing and talking. That was awesome. And, and here at Grant Cardone TV, we do this show every Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Miami to help you keep your hustle on here at the end of the week. I know how hard it is, okay? I know how hard it is. I don't think about myself being 58 years old. I don't, I don't actually see men and women. I don't see color, black or white. I just see hustle. You either got it or you don't. You're either working on it or you're not. You're either grinding it out or you're freaking laying back. And it's very, very clear uh, people come in here. We just finished shooting our second season of Whatever It Takes. People come in here every day. I got whatever it takes. I got the hustle. I'm willing to work. I'm going to grind. And then they don't. And they don't because they end up with no money. If you end up with an empty tank, folks, you can't finish your trip. Okay? Today I'm going to be talking about young money. I'm going to be talking about mistakes that I have made in my life. That kept me from having money sooner. I want you to get your money right. Listen to what I'm telling you. No matter how much grind you have, no matter how much hustle you have, my boy Gary V is always talking about the hustle. Oh, I mean, it's becoming this movement to talk about the hustle and the grind. If you don't have money, you can't finish the trip. Okay? If you don't have fuel in your tank, I don't care how hard you accelerate, how much you want to push that car, baby, it ain't going anyplace. You need fuel and money. Let me dip into my favorite pocket. I keep it in my front pocket, not my back pocket. Most people keep their money in the back pocket. I'm like, why would you keep your money on your ass? Keep it next to your balls. <laughs> okay? Look, man, you need to keep your money up front, man. Up front, not in the back. You guys that are packing wallets, get rid of a wallet. You don't want anything between you and money. I want to feel my money next to me. I keep it right next to my jewels. <laughs> And you ladies out there, okay, keep your money close. <laughs> it's money, baby. It's money, okay? It's what makes you valuable, man. Keep it there where you can feel it all the time. I want to I have access to it. I want to use it to propel me.